Hey guys, so with Shang-Chi just around the corner, I thought it'd be a perfect time to talk about Marvel. So recently Marvel is kind of going through fatigue, like people are getting tired of Marvel. Um, a lot of the recent Marvel films and projects uh, haven't wowed audiences like in Phase 3. So today I thought I might talk about some of my most underrated Marvel movies of all time. Now these are movies that people do like but I feel like they get overshadowed by the vast majority of Marvel films and I thought today I might talk about why so uh, if you guys don't agree with me that these are underrated that's totally fine um, uh, none of these movies are particularly hated but they don't get the amount of praise that I feel like they should I think these are hidden gems um, in fact I'm gonna say it's uh, these are good movies um, hidden uh, under awesome movies. Um, so, uh, anyways, guys, let's get into the countdown. Number three, Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, when this movie came out, it was getting a lot of critical praise. A lot of people were calling it the best Spider-Man movie. Uh, but ever since its release, it's kind of disappeared. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it as much as when it came out. And there are a lot of people that don't really like it that much and find it to be one of the weaker MCU films. I completely disagree with that. I think that Spider-Man Far From Home exceeded Spider-Man Homecoming. And I really like that Peter Parker gets uh, MJ in the end. Uh, the suit is better. I also found this movie to be way funnier than the first one. Like, I especially like the scene where Ame calls... Um, Peter's spidey sense, uh, Peter Tingle, that had me, like, laughing hard. I also think the villain is better. Like, um, I always wondered if they were ever going to make um, Mysterio a villain in a Spider-Man movie. And Jake Gyllenhaal absolutely aced the character of Mysterio. Um, now, I will say that it is predictable. If anyone has ever read a Marvel comic, then they would know that Mysterio wasn't actually a good guy, that he was going to be the villain. Um, but he was still a really great villain. I also like it's not as connected to the MCU as Homecoming was because that felt more like a, um, you know, another Iron Man or Avengers movie than a Spider-Man movie. That was one of my biggest problems with Homecoming, but Far From Home feels more like a Spidey flick, and I really like that. Um, the ending with uh, J.K. Simmons returning as Jameson, that was a blast to see in the theater, and everyone was gasping when, uh, you know, his identity got revealed, like, that's never been done before in a Spidey film. Like, at least um, not to the whole world. And, you know, that just got me even more excited for the next one. Uh, this film is highest on the list because it's not my absolute favorite out of these three. But, you know, I really do feel like it's um, not talked about as much as it was. And, uh, you know, I think it deserves a little praise, you know. It doesn't deserve to be forgotten. It's a really good, fun, awesome Spidey flick. Um, and I'm really excited for Spider-Man No Way Home in December. Especially if Tobey Maguire is in it and uh, Andrew Garfield. That'll get me even more hyped. Uh, so anyways, on to number two. Which is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Again, another film that isn't really talked about as much. And uh, when people talk about it, they usually say it's bland and dull. Well... I had a lot of fun with this. I really do feel like this is one of the most underrated Marvel movies. And it was probably because it came out in between Infinity War and Black Panther. In fact, I know that that was the reason because those two were some of the most praised MCU films. And Ant-Man and the Wasp in comparison to Black Panther especially, it looked just kind of generic. Um, but it was a really fun time. I had even more fun with this one than the first one. And it was extremely funny. Especially when Ant-Man's uh, suit glitches and he's small for like um, a few minutes and he gets back into the van and uh, Hank Pym's there and he's like, Hey Junior, how was school today? Would you like a juice box and some string cheese? That was hilarious. I found that extremely funny. I thought the villain was pretty badass. I have a blast every time I watch Ant-Man and the Wasp. I totally recommend you go watch it. And I really feel like it deserves a lot more praise than it gets. And it doesn't deserve to be lost and forgotten like a lot of other films. And my number one most underrated Marvel movie is Doctor Strange. Now, again, this is one of the lesser talked about MCU films. Um, 
and I've always felt like it doesn't get the praise it deserves. Like, this is a phenomenally fun movie. It is so well crafted. The visuals are mind-blowing. This is one of the most ambitious films that Marvel has made. It doesn't deserve to be forgotten. It deserves the amount of praise that every Marvel film gets. Doctor Strange is one of my favorite films in the MCU. The reason why I'm not a big MCU fan is because I feel like a lot of their films are too dark and too grounded. But what I like about this film is it just goes all out with how strange it can be. And that's really refreshing to see in a Marvel movie. Now, maybe the reason why it hasn't been talked about as much as other Marvel films is because it came out directly after Civil War. I mean, I can understand Civil War was big when it came out. Um, but I feel like it deserves a lot more praise and recognition than it gets. Um, I'm really excited for the sequel, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, especially now that Sam Raimi is directing it. Um, I was already excited for Doctor Strange 2, but the fact that Sam Raimi is directing it, that just makes me even more excited. So anyways, that is why Doctor Strange is my number one most underrated Marvel movie of all time. What do you guys think? What is your most underrated Marvel movie? Which Marvel movie do you think um, doesn't get as much uh, praise as it should? Uh, please leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And uh, please let me know if you agree or disagree. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.